Yeah, so I'm under the impression that most of viewers like vlogs, so I'm riding and vlogging right now. I'm gonna talk about my my budget gravel mountain bike that I converted from hardtail to top bars. I want to turn it into a single speed, and it was pretty bare bones. But if you want to see how you can get something similar and the results of that, how it rides and whatnot, then just keep on watching. We're gonna go do a little photo shoot and I'll show you exactly what's on this thing. Let's just cover quickly how the bike rides and answer some immediate questions. Does the geometry work? It does, but it's a compromise. Not all mountain bikes are great candidates for conversions, but most will work. Sometimes they have to be well-rounded in many riding environments because it's your only bike. I ride this on trail, gravel, and in the city and everything about it works well enough in all those environments, which is why I think taking a mountain bike and throwing some drops on it is going to be more fun and usable for someone who's used to trail riding. And you could always just put a flat bar on there if you want to go back to a hardtail. Now, if you're looking for a strictly gravel bike, then you're probably better off just looking for something specifically made for that because it's going to perform a lot better. If you're anything like me, you might be wondering what the body posture looks like on this thing since it's kind of like a Frankenstein bike. And coming from my background, I, I ride a decent amount of road and I take my posture pretty seriously. So I think it's pretty decent on this bike and it looks pretty good. So riding down the road, you're not going to look somewhat out of place on a mountain bike that's turned into a road bike. Kind of fits right in there and, and you really won't notice until you look at the front fork, which is going to segue us right into our specs and build. Uh, yeah, so people kind of look at me crazy for riding this thing. I think these big monster cross bikes are, are more appropriate and uh, they're a little bit more common up in the Pacific Northwest, uh, not so much in Florida. I think most people are just straight road or straight mountain bike. There's not much in between. So I have some mountain bike features on here that people kind of wince at when they see it. One of my favorite things about this bike is those i9 trail torch wheel sets. Has that hub in the background that just sounds really good. Uh, I have a front fork from my stump jumper on there. It's a Recon Rock Shocks. I think it's 130 or something like that through axle up front and a quick release in the back and you know this frame set that I bought at Dick's Sporting Goods like three years ago now has been just so good to me. I've been able to do so much with this and I'm just really grateful for it. Those two components are kind of the extent of the fancy stuff on here. I have some nice little easter eggs like a nuke proof seat post clamp. Uh, it kind of matches with my i9 hubs and the little DMR chain tensioner, but everything else is kind of just stock. I have a, a seat that I found on a, a takeoff bike. I've got some Crank Brothers candies. Those are probably my favorite pedals. 
uh, these IXF cranks that honestly for the price they're really hard to beat. Um, I've only had one set of them fail and that was out of probably six or seven cranks and a lot of abuse so that's a pretty high return on use and I have just some standard bars that I, I found off of a other bike but I do plan on putting an actual gravel bar on here maybe something a little bit more wide and aggressive I also plan on upgrading those uh, brakes those hoods are just very standard single speed cheapos and I might put something a little bit nicer on there but that's pretty much it for this build. Uh, while I was filming this, I saw a nice little tortoise across the street, so I thought I, I might film something for you. That's pretty much it for this uh, video. I'll end it with some gravel riding that I just did recently with my good friend Steven. Don't forget to go out there and create your own adventure however you can. Spread some positivity, and I'll see you on the next one. Mahalo.